going on guys welcome to another video um, today isn't a review today is kind of a request if you like but it's something that I've been wanting to do for a while anyway um, to kind of answer a few questions about a few things now this is gonna be something that whether you are novice level or whether you're sort of intermediate level um, into vaping um, possibly a high level but it's unlikely because chances are you have found your feet and sort of done what you wanted to do yourself but it doesn't mean you won't find this interesting um, so what I'm doing today is, I'll read you out what was said to me um, on, a, on a video comment um, that was posted to YouTube and then we'll go from there. Uh, so basically what it says is, um, this is from uh, Lee Ware, this was commented on the uh, Zenith video, you can go and check it if you want to. Um, it says, hi Mr P, you always seem to prefer single over dual core setups, I do state this quite a lot in videos. Um, I've always built dual cores on three post decks um, and had never um, given single cores a chance so I can't say I prefer dual over single, it's just the way I always go. Is there any specific reasons why you prefer single core builds? Flavour, vapour, battery life. Um, I've watched all your videos and I don't think vapour production suffers from single coils. I've got one of these on the way and I'll probably go dual but I'll try with a single first just to compare. Perhaps you could do a video on single versus dual core builds, pros and cons and then right at the end don't see much of worm lately. Um, worm's on a little break so that kind of clears that up. Um, he will be back no doubt but it's just when. Um, so I mean <clears throat> what I've got, what I've tried to do is replicate this in what I would consider to be the, the fairest way. Um, there were other ways to go and I'll explain them and I'll go into them um, I just well, didn't have it, it possible to do all of them so I've gone with what I would consider the fairest way so what I've got is two HANA clones with two Zenith clones um, this is a single coil 0.9 ohm build this is a dual coil 0.9 ohm build now this is kind of a semi micro 6 wrap whereas these are two 12 wrap okay so obviously twice the amount per coil because dual's half your resistance so on the face of things, this is, I'm just going to go into all detail, on the face of things, with the difference between single and dual, single and dual, um, it's in the name really, I mean, single coil is one standalone coil, no matter what wire you're using, it's just one of them, um, and dual coil would be twice as many, so it'd be dual, now the differences on the face of things, as I say, would be, you double the coils, you half the resistance, is the kind of day one, sort of beginner's guide to dual coils. Um, other than that, what they should offer you, okay, single coils are, say, sort of zero, the brake marker for vaping, okay. Um, dual coils over single coils should offer you increased vapour, increased flavour. Um, now, obviously, that sounds great, let's have it. Um, but do they is the question. Do they really is the question. So on equivalent builds we're doing this on, but I will delve into if you're using mechs and when jewels and singles really are what I would use. Um, so first of all, I'm going to have a puff on this single coil. Like I say, this is 0.9 ohms. I'm running this on its highest 30 watts to compare vapor, first of all. Um, so what I'll do is I'll have a little puff on this single coil on the HANA at 30 watts and I'll let you see the vapor. Cheated a bit there, blew it towards the camera. So, I mean, that's very fucking respectable if you ask me. The air holes on this is wide open on the single, and so is the jewel. Um, now, this is the jewel. Get the hat activated. Now, I will say, and I you know, the only difference between this is this has got dual, this has got single, two air holes, one air hole, and the drip tip's different. Other than that, they're exactly the same. I don't want to confirm that Hannah's are running exactly the same wattages, both at max 30. Uh, they're both containing the same battery, and battery is exactly the same level. I don't know if it will show up on the it might show up on the camera, um, but you can kind of hopefully make that out. But everything's legit and running as it should be. Now Day dot vapor production. I mean, you see for yourself. I'll let you be the judge of what you think. Personally, I mean, to be honest with you, I think this wins it fractionally. And I don't know what it looks like to you on camera, but to me, the single feels denser. Um, now, the dual coils, 
I mean, you, this will be audible to you. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fire this single coil and let you listen. Okay, now I'm going to fire the jaw. Now, immediately the jaw takes longer to heat um, straight away, so it's taking time to get that going. Um, <clears throat> also, I find the temperatures they reach, the singles tend to reach per coil a higher temperature. Overall, I find the jaws is a warmer vape, but the single gets to that temperature and, and gets there bloody quick, whereas the jaws take a while. Um, so that's the kind of the first thing I notice. Um, and as I say in vapor production, I'd say the single actually edges it at this resistance on comparable coils. Um, now flavor. Now I've run these up and down. I mean these are both bedded in. I've used each for about 45 minutes. Um, now for flavor for this, I find around 22 watts is where I find the best flavor for this on single. Now if I take this down to a comparable wattage, so call it 22 watts again. Sorry, just waiting for this to cycle through. I find there's not so much flavour. I find I have to run this at like 30 watts to get the equivalent flavour that I'm getting from 22 on this. Um, so that's another thing I notice. I mean, flavour-wise, once this is at 30, this is at 22, this tastes better at 22. Now vapor, at its best for flavor, the jaw slightly edges it, but it's using more power. I mean this is pushing 4.6 volts on a single, it's having to push 5 volts on the jaw to get what I would consider the best flavor from the jaw that still doesn't match that flavor of the single. Um, so that's, that's that. Um, now, that doesn't go to mention that the jewel is a lot more work. I mean, there's twice as much coils involved, okay? So that means you're using twice as much supplies, you're using twice as much candle, you're using twice as much cotton. Now, these materials are inexpensive. I'm not gonna sit and qualm over you know, half a penny's worth of camphor and what can only be described as a hundredth of a penny of cotton. Um, so I'm just gonna have a little drink, because vaping's doing me throwing. <coughs> But there is more cost involved. I mean, if you use an eco wall, for example, that does work out to be quite expensive. Um, I find the longevity of the coils is about the same. I find that they last about the same before I have to take the, the cotton out and dry burn it. Then when I do dry burn it, I have to spend more time putting the cotton back in the jewel. I also, I do want to point out as well, guys, sorry, I am using the same juice in both of these, just in case that was going to be something that someone brought up. No, exactly the same juice from the same bottle. Everything's the same. Um, I also find that, it depends on what coils you're running. I mean, this, these are micros, but if you're running standard silica coils, it's a lot more work. A lot more work, because at least with micros, it's consistent, the same, put them in, and realistically, all we have to do is a crimp here and a crimp there, and everything should be spot on, but it isn't always the way. Sometimes it does be more of a pain in the ass. Um, but that's what I tend to find, you know, there are, there are there is more work involved in your coils. And for me, as soon as I can get a better flavour from the single, run it at lower power, when I do run them at the same power, I can get the same vapour reduction, or in my opinion, the single slightly edges it, but at best it's the same. I just don't see the point in them. I, I, the only time I see the point in dual coils is when I'm cloud chasing, um, but I will, I will get onto that. Um, now I did mention, you know, the other setups. So ideally, I'd like to have had four zenith here um, to, to to prove this point. Um, but say you're not using a Hannah or a regulated device that's able to push these as hard. If I was using a Vamo, for example, that single would be smashing the living shit out of them jewels because they require a lot more power. And I don't get why you want to do it, I don't. Um, now obviously it's a preference thing and I do want to state that everything I'm saying here is for me and me alone, um, but it does seem to be a general consensus among people I've spoken to. For your flavor builds, you go single. Now if this isn't about flavor, what's it about? I mean, if you want to blow the biggest clouds, then why are we using sort of one ohm? It doesn't, to me, make much sense. Um, but irrespective, that is the way it is. Um, I do want to say as well that I prefer how quickly that single core heats. I like to be able to go and it's there. I don't have to wait for it. Um, but 
that's kind of you you gather my kind of perception on the, the equivalent builds using the same resistance. Um, now that's on a device that can alter the Watson the, the Watson the volts. Okay, so I wasn't going to wrap them to be the same resistance to prove it the other way, but then I thought really we want it to be equivalent. Um, now the other way of doing this would be on a mech. Now on a mech, on a single core dripper, I'd probably run between 0.6 and 1.2 ohms, depending on juice is what I depend that on. Certain juices just don't respond well, and on a mech you haven't got the ability to change it if it's too powerful or not powerful enough. Um, so if I was using something like Jester's juice, um, 1.2 ohm coil in a dripper or in a K fund, and I'm happy as Larry. Um, with the jewels on a mech, to get say, I'm, say I wrapped a one ohm, that's a fairly simple. If I wrap a, a one ohm jewel coil, it feels near on anemic in comparison to my single. The, the heating time is is it's just not worth it for me. Um, so I find to get the equivalent vape using a mech, I would have to go to 0.5 ohms with a dual coil. Now, I haven't already mentioned you've got to run them more power. That's half the resistance. Um, now, one ohm single coil, I'm gonna try and work this out very quickly for you guys. I didn't really plan to do this, um, but it's kind of come up. So, now your batteries are drained at a certain rate. Now, if I have a one ohm single coil, I'm using 13.7 watts. That's my everyday kind of, you know, standard flavor vape. Now, if I take that to 0.5 ohms, I'm using 27.4 watts. Your battery is effectively drain twice as quick, okay? And I notice no noticeable flavor difference. In fact, I find it worse. I find the vape not as pleasurable because it feels anemic. I find because that vape feels anemic and it hasn't got the ability to push, push them coils hard, I find the vapor suffers. And above all of this, well, to some extent above all of this, I find you're using a lot more e-liquid why? I don't, I don't, for me, I don't see the benefit of it. Now, I've tried doing non micros, you know, your traditional sort of five or six wraps, still around the consistent drill bit and thread the cotton through um, with both, and they do heat slightly quicker, both of them. But I still find that all of everything else I've mentioned to be true. So, in order on a mech for me to get the satisfying vape, I've got to use the battery half as, uh, twice as quick. Now, that has more drawbacks than people realise. One of them, obviously, is that you're having to carry extra batteries, possibly, depending on what you're using. 18350s is pointless. Um, one of them is that. Another one is that if you're draining your batteries twice as quick, you're using them twice as often, which means you're charging them twice as often, which means effectively you're halving the amount of time that battery's actually going to last you in terms of the grand scheme of things. Now, say these EFS have got a battery rating of 300 charge cycles, that's, let's call it a year, okay? That's a year's worth of vaping. If you use nothing but jewels, effectively you're getting six months out of your batteries, and again, these batteries aren't really that expensive, say eight to ten quid a piece. But there's no real benefit for me. And that in itself makes the fact that I'm I'm costing myself more money, irrespective to how much it is, pointless. I'm using more juice, more supplies, more of my time, and more batteries, and in turn more money for all of that. And I'm getting no, in my opinion, I'm getting a worse experience most of the time. Now I did say dual cores have their role, and for me they do have their role, and they have their role big time. Even still though, singles can be close on the right builds. Um, cloud chasers. If, those, if, that, if you are one of those, and you are, I mean, what I would call a real cloud chaser, not someone who just does sort of dual 0.5s. If you want to run super sub, I'm 0 0.08, 0 0.06s, even to some extent 0.2s, then dual calls definitely have that place. And I find the main reason for that is because they can get them temperatures, um, but there's two of them, so they take longer to heat. Wick burn and core consumption becomes lower when you're chasing serious clouds. But Quite happily, I've wrapped a single twisted 0.8 canthal build micro six wrap, you know, at something ridiculous like 0.09 ohms, and I've wrapped an equivalent jewel, and the, the the difference still hasn't been massive. It's only when you're competition chasing that that really, or you're trying to show that you've got the fucking biggest clouds and the biggest bollocks, um, that that comes into play. And is it really worth it? Is is the question you've got to ask yourself? I mean, until you do these comparisons, until you live with jewels and you live with singles, you're not going to know what your preference is. And when I say, is it worth it? Um, it's more of a hypothetical question to me than it is to me asking you. Um, because if you run jewels and you've run singles and your preference is jewels, then for you, yes, it is worth it. And then good on you. If that's what you prefer, that's your preference. But I've sort of been asked to do a video of the difference between the two. And to be honest with you, jewels, in my opinion, seem to be worse. Um, 
I just don't think that all of the negatives, and from what I can see, no real positive, is worth it. Um, I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll have another go, but... I do want to point out, this single's still on 22 watts. I don't know guys, I really don't. I mean, this this is just an idiot's guide to, to single and dual core. I'm not, I'm not a professional. Um, I can only talk about my own experiences and my own sort of findings and preferences. But I have been doing you know this for a fair while now. Um, these reviews have been going on for over a year. And I've been vaping for approaching two years. And I started dual coiling when I was very early into vaping, you know, sort of three or four months, if that. Um, to, because I went to Cloud Chase and to start with I thought it was me you know that, that I wasn't getting the performance that other people were getting when they were talking about dual coils and a year and a half nearly on and I still feel the same way I still feel that these singles just outperform these jewels in every way and you're saving money, materials, time, effort and juice um, so I mean I don't if you disagree with me please comment and, and let me know why you disagree and what what the what benefits you find there to be from having a dual call now this is one of the reasons why when I review out is like a 28.5 mil still which I actually post this before I post that but it's coming um, you know and the Tobe and the Igo W and so on and so forth this is why I say I prefer singles and I wish that they would include single cord options which is why the the drippers such as Zeniths and stuff are such good drippers for me because they cover all them bases and they give the opportunity to do that because as soon as I get a dual core dripper like the Tobe or like the the IOW you know or the Stellaire I tend to find either it goes in a drawer and I don't use it once that kind of honeymoon stage is over after about two or three weeks or I block off one of the air holes on the side and, and use it as a single coil. In which case I don't feel like I'm getting the full potential of the atomizer, but equally when I do get the full potential of the atomizer, I find it to be worse. This is just food for thought, guys. I really hope you know that you have your own preference and you're happy with it. Um, if you are a single coil user and you haven't really given dual coils a true go, give them a go and see if you find them to be more beneficial for you. And likewise, if you are just a sole dual coiler, and you haven't given the singles a chance, please do, because I find the overall experience with a single to be much more pleasurable for me. Um, disagreeing with me is more than fine. I'm, like I said, I'm no expert, and it's personal preference. Um, it's just, for me, it's a no-brainer. It is. Um, now, hopefully, this video was some way helpful and or enlightening. I mean, it does come down heavily to what equipment you've got. It does, but if you've got dual core dripper only, you are able to make that single coil um, and give it a go. I just find the vapor more pleasurable. Whilst I'm on that, to be honest with you, this isn't performing as well as I'd like it to. Now, the reason being is that I had to wrap low in order to match this, because any more than 12 wraps either side would have been ridiculous. I could have used a different wire, yes, higher resistance wire, but then I thought it wasn't a true gauge, you know, of what, what was there when everything was the same, barring the amount of coils. Um, now realistically, I'd like to have this at 1.4 ohms, around there, and I then push it to the same 22, 23 watts because the device regulates everything, it's draining the battery at the same rate because um, the output's the same. Okay, if your resistance is higher and your voltages are higher, but you're equal in the same wattage, you're draining at the same rate. Um, and I prefer, I find that to be an even better vaping experience when you've got a 10 12 wrap single micro. I find that's where the best experience is, but because I've had to do six, that's not performing as well as I'd like it to. So, effectively, what I'm going to do is take this and if and remove one of the coils, take that 0.9 to sort of it should be 1.8, but sometimes these things don't work out, which is a little bit higher than I'd usually go. Uh, and that for me will be a bit of a vaping experience in both of those um, because I've got the hands. If I didn't, then I probably would wrap around 0.8 single and be happy as Larry with that on a mech. Um, I don't know guys, I don't know, but that's that's my take on this anyway. I mean, I hope this was in some way helpful if you were kind of branching out, if you were wondering what you wanted to do. Um, hopefully I've sort of been able to help you benefit from my experiences before you spend ages and ages and ages doing something that you find you don't prefer. Um, or, you know, helping you 
feel comfortable with your decision to go single when a lot of people go dual. Um, and I'm not alone in this. I know there are a lot of people out there that prefer them single core builds um, and lovely stuff. Other than that, guys, I'm pretty much done here. If there's anything else you want me to cover, I will do my very best to do so. If you uh, just drop me a PM on Facebook or if you're on the group, message me. Or even if you message me on YouTube or comment it on a video like this was done. Um, I do like to try and get these sort of requested videos out as quickly as I can purely because I think if you guys are putting in the time and effort to watch me and I know some of you watch me just because you want to know about the product or what I'm talking about others watch me just because it's me and I'm very grateful to all, all of you for doing that um, then if it's something you want me to do a video on I will do my level best to get it done just let me know of it um, thank you very much for watching guys I've been Mr P I shall see you soon